Greetings, it's Alex Scher for the Shelburne Freelancer. I'm here at the Shelburne Police Torch Run. It's an annual event. It's taking off at Fiddle Park and going all the way to No Frills. As we can see, the torch is lit and the run is about to begin. Take you there. Is that torch out? Is the torch out? Scotiabank, who uh, matches $5,000 in donations every year. We have Jennifer Rogers. The other presenter is uh, Chief Moore, Chief of Shelburne Police Service. And from OPP, we have uh, Adam Belanger, who is the Regional Coordinator for the Law Enforcement Board for the whole area. And we have up here these, um, all these run teams who uh, came out and joined us today. And we thank you for that. I'm just going to read through them again. Um, so if we get a round of applause for each one as I read through them. So for Cedric Dufferin High School, thank you for coming out. <laughs> Dufferin Child and Family Services. <laughs> Dufferin County Paramedic Service. Dufferin OPP. Here we go. Here we go. Georgian College Employment Services. John's No Frills. KTH Shelburne. Case Credit Union. RBC Shelburne. Um, this year, they got a uh, $1,000 team sponsorship from their head office, so thank you very much for that. Uh, Scotia Bank had a run team. We have a runner from the town of Shelburne. Uh, Shelburne District Fire Department. A couple of runners from Shelburne Police Service. 
Michael. And Trillium Ford. Thank you all for your support. Shelburne residence is also a financial spot. Can we have a round of applause for this one? Main Street Dental, another uh, uh, financial sponsor. Is anybody here from Main Street Dental? I don't see anybody coming up. Downey's Farms. Do we have somebody here from Downey's Farms? They're one of our financial sponsors. KTH, we've got lots of people here from KTH. Can we have somebody come up from KTH? One of our major financial sponsors of $1,500. Yeah. Well well she could do the run all over again. <laughs> Dufferin, Auto Center Dufferin. Can we have somebody come up from Auto Center Dufferin? Come on up, Steve. After that run, I'm... <laughs> These tires for flipping burgers. <laughs> and Auto Center Dufferin is a uh, financial sponsor, also provided us the Kubota to help out with the run, and also volunteers for the, uh, for the barbecue. Excellent. Stop transportation. We have uh, the bus driver here. Best driver. Oh. Colin Shuck, Stop Transportation, provided us with the bus and the driver to help out with today. Bus driver. Yeah, buddy. Shelburne Home Hardware. Is there somebody here from Shelburne Home Hardware? Shelburne Home Hardware is the uh, sponsor of the uh, draw prize, which we're about to take care of. So don't leave. I'm doing it at the end for purpose. You have to be here to play. Uh, John's No Frills. No frills for four years now has been uh, providing his parking lot and uh, all the barbecue food and everything that you see here as well as of course putting a run team in every year. Pete's Deli. Somebody here from Pete's Deli? Um, Helen from Pete's Deli every year uh, supplies us with a treat. She also runs the Toonies for Torches, which raises hundreds of dollars. Uh, they run for the month leading up to this event. So we're coming up here, can we have a round of applause for our Pete's Deli? Orangeville Citizen, is there somebody here from Orangeville Citizen? Shelvin Free Press? Orangeville. I know somebody was here earlier from Sheldon Free Press. Debbie, are you still here? Okay, maybe not. Uh, Sheldon Free Press and Orangeville Citizen in a combination um, provided all the posters and provided a $2,000 worth of advertising for this event. And finally, Scotia Bank. Can we get somebody up from Scotia Bank? I know there's lots of people here from Scotia Bank. Cheryl, are you still here? Or Jennifer? <laughs> I guess they left already. Um, Scotia Bank, as we all know, uh, did 
last four years has matched up to five thousand dollars in donations at this event. So let's have a big round of applause for them. And just before we do the draw, I want to say a few more thank yous. First of all, I want to thank all the helpers that helped with the food and the barbecue. We have volunteers from RBC and from Auto Center Tucker helping out with the food here today. We thank them for their hard work here. Um, also, we had volunteers. There's Cheryl. <laughs> um, and we had volunteers from Scotia Bank helping collect and uh, sort the money. Um, Shelburne Town Works for setting up the stage. I bothered them and called them on the cell phone about 10 times for every little thing I needed. So, can we have a round of applause for their help in the room? Um, Charlotte Krause, um, she's from the town. She's been make sure I stay organized and that everything is in place to where it needs to be. So, can we have a round of applause for Charlotte? Um, several of our auxiliaries, Shelburne Police Auxiliary Officer, is behind the help out today. The three of them over here can get a round of applause for them. Paul Nance Cavell from Dufferin OPT back there. He came out today to help out as well with traffic enforcement. Thank you, Paul. My wife, Crystal Newman, was driving the ambulance. She came out to help out today. Um, and Dwayne from Shelburne Fire came and volunteered his time to help out with uh, with the fire truck as well. Thank you, Dwayne. And Colin Shutt as well the, uh, for driving the school bus and uh, transporting the kids and volunteering his time for that today. Thank you very much. Now it's time for the draw. So this year again, the draw is sponsored by Shelburne Home Hardware. Um, the prize again this year is a um, patio set, and the value of the patio set is $225. Um, Keith Moore is going to draw a name. The last two years it was the same person, let's hope he doesn't draw the same person again this year. It's not the same person, but it's close. Same run team. Tara DeBrower from the Center Dufferin High School uh, run team. You won, your, you won the patio set. Come on up. There's still food left. Enjoy Thank yourselves. You. Thank you very much for coming out. And we appreciate everybody's support for this worthy event. And uh, we'll hopefully see you again next year. Thank you so much.